back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm coming on because I have a new arrival over at ScrapDivaDesigns.com. If you're following me on uh, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, TikTok, you have seen that I posted that I had new arrivals and even I did a little clip here on YouTube. Um, several of you have messaged me about the 3D ticket booth. So I wanted to come on and share with you how to put it together. It's actually really simple to put together. The only part that's a little bit uh, time consuming is the little part right here where you have to, um, well, you don't even have to, but you can layer uh, your little uh, ticket booth on the top and on the bottom. And I'll show you what that looks like um, at the end. But this is the die set. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 13 pieces in this die set. So you get several dies um, with this die set. You get the little um, die up here that reads tickets. This is super, super cute. It is a 3D ticket booth gift box. Um, and I'm going to show you how to put this together. So stay tuned for the tutorial. I probably will speed it up with some music and then I'll come back at the end to show you the final results. All right, stay tuned.
Excel I'm back. I put it together. So easy to put together, you guys. You have no idea. Um, I think this is such a great um, 3D project to put together. Um, this is a perfect party favor. Any type of Happy Mail swap, group swap. Um, it's just adorable and it fits so many goodies inside. Um, so this is what it looks like um, from the outside. Um, this is the little um, top part of the box, which just comes off like so. And I did um, layer the ticket um, die with some um, foam to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I backed it with glitter cardstock um, on the sides. I also just layered it a couple of, uh, maybe once with heavyweight cardstock, just to give it a little bit of dimension. You know, I love adding dimension to my projects. And then on like the little awning, I went back and forth with glitter card. And I think this is so, so cute. So this is the top of the box. The bottom is just adhered. I didn't show the bottom at the end of the process video. I did that off camera. I decided not to go back in with every other um, glitter cardstock. I just left it solid pink. And then I added the uh, glitter um, card at the bottom. This smaller die um, is what I used to cut it out in the die set. Um, so this is the top, you open it up like so. You can either open it up from the front um, or you could do it the opposite way. Um, I cut mine off on this side so it closes this way, but if you were to leave the flap on, say you did it this way, it would close on the inside. I think next time I would probably cut the back one off and then leave the front one on so it closes in the back. Another thing that I did, if you noticed in the process video, I layered everything with 110 pound cardstock. So this is super sturdy, like it's not going anywhere. It's solid, it's not gonna fall apart. Um, I do recommend that when you layer your heavyweight cardstock to cut it off on the tabs because it is a little thick. Um, so I wish I would have just cut that part off so it wouldn't have been so thick and it would have made it just a slight bit easier to close the box. But as you can see, it does close and it does work and the lid works, I mean, the top works just fine. But I do recommend if you're going to use heavyweight cardstock and then cover it with pattern paper, just cut the uh, fold off right there because you don't need it and maybe cut it off right here as well. Um, but mainly right here so you have an easier time closing up the box. Um, but I just love the way that this came out. This is such a cute die set. I love it so, so much. Um, so check the description box below. I will have a link to this product. If you have any questions, just ask. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And thank you to everyone that has already purchased the 3D ticket booth. So super excited to see what you guys come up with. Remember to use hashtag Scrap Diva Designs if you post on Instagram or YouTube. I'd love to see what you're creating. All right, until the next video, I will catch you later. Bye for now.